I'm at the Engineering Technology Group today. I've come to meet with Steve Brown, who's going to talk to us about the Quasar range of machining centres. We're going to look at the MV184E. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. Steve, this is the Quasar MV184 from the Engineering Technology Group. What sort of machine is this? So this is a Quasar built machine from, from a large family of uh, vertical machining centres through from a 700 size in the X all the way up to a, to a 2 metre. So what does the MV184 stand for? The 1 stands for the 1 metre, for the, the, the range, um, and the 8 is, is just a dictation of what Quasar use for their own, own badging and the 4 dictates to the spindle taper. So you can have this in a 40 taper or a BT50 taper. Ah, OK, so would you have a 185 which would give you That's a 50 correct. taper? That's correct, yes. Right, OK. Now, with this being a 40 taper machine, slightly different marketplace to a, a 50, what, who's going to buy a 184? So the Quasar is predominantly high end. Um, so everything about the machine, the build quality and everything is very, very high end. Quasar only build vertical machining centres. That's where their excellence is, along with the, obviously the five axis range and horizontal pallet changes. Build quality, you talk about that. It's a big statement, but what, what makes it well built? Well, obviously with the Quasar name, um, there's a big name that hides behind it, and that is the Bridgeport branding. Obviously, when Bridgeport um, stopped manufacturing in the UK, they sourced a developer, and that's what Quasar did, carried on building that Bridgeport name. So the Quasar brand of a machine, how long has it been available? It's been available for around 12 years um, within, the, within the UK, um, but obviously our, our, um, the developments of the agencies has changed hands, with Martin Dorr taking over, um, it's obviously fully available. Now, the control on this machine is a Heidenhain control. Is that a 530? It is a 530, yes. We have two variations. We have an E model and a P model, um, and they're both available with a 620 or the 530. So what would be the difference between the E and the P then? Is that production or...? Yeah, so the E is economy machine and the P is the performance machine. So basically the difference between the two uh, is the spindle power, the rapid, the acceleration and deceleration. So with this being the E here then, just go quickly through, step through some of the things like the tool change of the spindle speed, uh, through spindle coolant, that type of thing. So the basic specs, it's a, a 30 tool ATC, so obviously a quick arm tool change. It's a 12,000 RPM spindle with face and taper contact. It's got 20 bar through spindle coolant and as the package is a full package including swarf management. Um, it's a very compact machine, so the swarf management sits behind the machine. Um, we have two augers and wash down, and everything is taken through through the back of the machine. And if you went for a P, what would be the difference? The P, um, you get slightly bigger ball screws. There's a tighter pitch on the ball screw, which makes the machine look bit, um, that more accurate. Um, the acceleration and the deceleration is faster. Everything from Quasar, from their entry level, is 12,000 RPM with 20 um, bar through spindle coolant. And from there, we can spec up all the way up to 24,000 RPM. Now, the Engineering Technology Group have got a lot of machines that they supply under their umbrella yeah. to offer engineers diversity and flexibility or, or a lot of choice. Yeah. Where does this sit in amongst the other products that you supply? So this, this, is, a, this is at the top end. Um, so obviously, we have to cater for all markets. Um, from the subcontractors all the way up to first tier customers. Um, and this is, this is where this uh, machine is, is, is placed in that production environment. Brilliant. Thanks, Steve. No problem. Cheers, Paul. For more videos, products, and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.